Hello everybody, welcome to Cooking with Yogurt Mikey. Cooking with Yogurt Mikey. Today we're going to be making a really cool pineapple smoothie recipe that I found online on the Oikos uh, webpage. It's really cool because uh, this is actually my first time tasting it because it's a lot of work, but uh, I hope it's worthwhile. We'll find out. So, for necessary equipment, you're going to need uh, some ingredients, a blender, and like cooking tools. You know, like the stuff you use to cook. The stuff you probably already have. Okay, so for the prep directions, it's very simple. Accumulate all your ingredients inside the blender and then blend it. And then you should be good to go. Uh, so the first ingredient that we're gonna do is half an English cucumber peeled and uh, seeded. Now, I had to look it up because I'm no culinary expert. Uh, I didn't know how to peel or seed a cucumber. Maybe some sort of food guru like Gordon Ramsay could teach me how to do it. But anywho, this is how I think you're supposed to do it. And if I'm wrong, you guys let me know. Okay, so next up, we're going to cut it in half. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a spoon and there's the seeds all the way down here and you're supposed to gently try to take the seeds out. I'm not 100% sure. We might be a little low on the cucumber in this recipe, that's fine. So yeah, you're supposed to take all the seeds out as much as you can and uh, maybe try and do it properly if I'm doing it wrong. Check the comments. Okay, the next ingredient we're going to be doing is one cup of coconut water. And I've labeled coconut water. If you want your label to be clearly visible in my video, uh, sponsor me. That's one cup of coconut water. Okay, our next uh, special ingredient, well, it's not very special, but I mean, it's nice. Uh, we have honey, and I'm not gonna show you the label because they did not sponsor me. Yeesh, all these people not sponsoring me. You need a tablespoon of honey. Now this is a half tablespoon thingy, so I think I'm gonna have to do two. Uh, it's kind of thick though, bam. I might have to do three and then just lick the spoon, but I don't know. Please do not add more Ramsey, you will not like this. And if there's too much honey, it's just a little sweet, just like you. Okay, so this next ingredient is apparently pretty important, uh, but it is very new to me. So I went to the store and I bought ginger. Uh, when I went there, I did not know what it looked like. Like if you had said, what's this? I would not have known. But apparently this is ginger. Uh, I was at the store looking for it, having a hard time finding it. And uh, I asked this random person, because I was really caught up in it, I'd had a long day, and I just asked a complete stranger, do you know where the ginger is? And he said, no, I have no clue. I thought ginger was a hair color. Um, me too. <laughs> me too. Uh, so we're going to cut this open, I think. Okay. And then you want the good stuff on the inside, so I'm going to... I'm gonna also cut this off right here. I hope I'm not like just brutally wasting this. But we don't, oh. That's stinky. Well anywho, we wanna shred some off. We don't need a lot. So yeah, we're just gonna toss that right in, just like every, whew. 
Now this next ingredient is really important. We're doing uh, a cup, one cup of the Oikos Greek yogurt, uh, plain flavor. I'm sure you could get away with using a different flavor, but today we're just gonna use plain. So now you know me, I'm probably gonna go a bit heavy and use just a little bit more because the recipe says that it's gonna be a thin, smoothie. I like it a bit thicker and I think the yogurt will help out with that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to add, oh, oh, <laughs> yogurt's good. Now the last ingredient, this is probably going to take the longest time. We're going to take two pineapples and what we're going to do is we're going to core it now keep in mind, I've never cut a pineapple before. Okay, so if I'm doing it wrong, please do not tell the principal, okay? So that's one cup. Thanks. Okay, so I finally like got all the pineapple and I took the core out, so I'm not eating the core, guys. I know someone's gonna be like, you shouldn't eat the core, it's not tasty. Anywho, so I, I emptied the, pian the piano. I emptied the pineapple. I put two cups of pineapple in here. We have all the other ingredients. Um, let's just run through that one more time real quick. We have our cup of Greek plain yogurt. We have our two cups of pineapple, fresh. They can be frozen. I do a frozen pineapple too. Uh, English cucumber. We seeded it and we peeled it. We had our one cup of coconut water. We have our tablespoon of fresh ginger grated. We have the tablespoon, or sorry, half teaspoon of ginger. Uh, the one tablespoon of honey and two fresh pineapples hollowed out, optional. So I'm only gonna do one pineapple. I bought two, but that's so I could do it uh, one more time uh, when Tony's here. But anyway, here we go. This is gonna be great. So I plugged it in the blender. Let's set it to... So I've made my awesome smoothie uh, and here's how they recommend you drink it. Uh, they recommend you pour it into the hollowed out pineapple that you hollowed out for the added flavor. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that just look beautiful? And we still have more left over. But was this recipe worth all that time that I put into cooking it? Let's see. Well, let's see. That's pretty tasty. You can definitely taste the yogurt. I would have added a bit more pineapple, maybe a bit more honey. Not sure how I feel about the ginger because it's a very strong taste. I think I might have added too much ginger. It is very sweet. Um, yeah, it is very sweet. I love that taste, the pineapple taste. I usually am not a big pineapple fan, but after cutting it for so long, I feel like uh, it, uh, after putting all that much effort into it, it's even better. The whole experience, it took a while for me to do it. I, it was my first time cooking it, or I guess blending it. Pretty darn good, uh, if you ask me. Uh, so he, yeah, here we go. Pineapple. Maybe I'll tell you all this. Drinking a pineapple. 
pretty good. Pretty good. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And stick around because we have a bonus recipe suggestion. Kind of. Okay, and here's our bonus review, uh, or here's our bonus recipe. So what we have today, oop, gotta grab the oven right. We have some roasted salmon with uh, some seasoning on there. It's whatever seasoning you want. Maybe I'll add the list of seasonings that we added right here. <laughs> and then what you do is you just put a little tzatziki sauce on it. And yes, Suzuki sauce is a yogurt. So yeah, it's really good on its own uh, as it is, but it's even better if you add a little uh, Suzuki sauce on the side, which is technically yogurt. And it goes well with potatoes and carrots and a nice Greek salad. So yeah, this is a recommendation. It's not much of a recipe, but um, it sure will do for a bonus recipe. Have a good day. Bye.